Hello and welcome to highlights of stage three of the Tour de France Femme Avex with, but stage two belonged to the greatest of all time, Mariana Voss, who pulled on probably one of the only prizes missing from her trophy case, the Maillot Jaune, the yellow jersey of the Tour de France. And she took a 10 second advantage over Sylvia Persico, 12 seconds to Cassia Nuvia Doma and 18 seconds into Elisa Longa Borghini for stage three, starting in Reims, the capital of the Champagne region. A tough day ahead for the riders. Three category, four climbs early on in the stage. The Côte de Tripel, the Côte de Vertus and the Côte de Messiel sur Auger through the finish line for the first passage of the line with 24.2 to go into the intermediate sprint with uh, 21 kilometers remaining and then a bonus sprint climb a real sting in the tail for the riders the Mont Bernon coming with 3.9 kilometers to go. Femke Gerritzer of Parkertel Valkenburg Went into the stage level on points with her teammate, Femke Marcus, who was wearing the polka dot Queen of the Mountains jersey. She was battling it out, though, for the early points, and she had gained quite an advantage. It would take over in the lead at the end of the day. Elena Amia Lusik of Canyon Sram, though, attacked with uh, just over 40 kilometers to go after that Cote de Messiel sur Auger. She built a considerable advantage, 32 seconds to multiple chasers who never really made it up to her. Lotta Capecchi, though, was starting to take advantage over some of the steep climbs. Capecchi had gone in to the stage seventh overall at 41 seconds. Annemiek van Vleuten, though, was being brought back up to the front by the team Movistar team, and it would be after the stage that we would start to get a bigger picture of just what was going on for the Movistar champion. In to the Cote de Moutigny, it was Emma Norsgaard that led into the climb. This was the climb where Julien Alaphilippe launched his stage victory in the Men's Tour de France in 2019 and pulled on the yellow jersey. The pressure took a select leading group clear and Ashley Mormon Passi of Team SD Works, fabulous climber, was really whittling the group down to a select few and it would be her teammate Damie Vollering that led Liana Lippa over the top on the descent though disaster struck for Vollering and Lippert they went down Elisa Longo Borghini managed to avoid them this whittled that leading group down to uh, Ashley Mormon Passio second place Sylvia Persico and Mavi Garcia the chasing group Cecily Uttrup Ludwig Mariana Voss Juliette Labus Cassia Nuvia Doma would also make it into the group the gap, 23 seconds. Ashley Mormon Passio of SD Works was being instructed by her team director sportif Danny Stam not to work in the leading group to try and let Damie Vollering come back up towards the front. They were heading towards the bonus sprint, the yellow jersey of Mariana Voss, while Persico at times had been the virtual leader on the road. Voss, Uttrup Ludwig and Vollering made it back in along with Kristen Faulkner. At the summit, of the steep climb, the Mont Bonon, it was Elisa Longa Borghini that took the three seconds. Annemiek van Vleuten, though, was struggling at the back. It would be quite a chase, and she would make contact with one kilometre to go. The steep climb up towards the finish. Who would take the stage? It was tailor made for Mariana Voss. Cassia Nuvia Doma made a move with 300 meters to go. Voss and Mormon Passio there, but it would be the Danish champion of Cecily Uttrup Ludwig after a disastrous day for the team on day two. They lost Marta Cavalli and a beautiful sporting spectacle as the Danish champion put all the troubles behind them and took the stage victory she's finished second third and fourth in la course and a great season she is having an emotional cecily uttrup ludwig took the stage victory this is why we love sport from the depths of despair to elation the next day cecily uttrup ludwig took the stage ahead of mariana voss and ashley mormon passio persico longo borghini nuvia doma garcia following labus and van vleuten your top 10. another day another yellow jersey for mariana voss she will take it in to the white roads around the champagne region 
for stage four. And she extended her lead over Sylvia Persico to 16 seconds and Cassia at Nuvia Doma. Lisa Longo Borghini now at 21. 148 separating the top 10 with Cecily Trupp Ludwig moving up to 10th. We move from Troyes to Bar sur Aube for stage four and what a stage a lot of anticipation around this one we have those climbs but we also have those four gravel sections it's going to be a big day in the tour de france fam avic swift you are not going to want to miss it